Teammate and revelation, some are able to skip the long waits to talk with the IRS customer service. It's drawn the attention of Congress, but how does it work and is it legal? I-Team H Jasmine Miner did some digging for us and joins us now with those answers. This is one of those things you look at and you're like, what? Yeah, a lot of people are really frustrated with this. I can't lie, Alexis, but uh, this is how it works. Okay, so private taxpayers are using robocall systems to dial the IRS and hold the phone lines for what could be several hours. That's when they charge customers to jump on the line and replace that robocall when the wait is nearly over. So it means those with the extra money are getting to skip the frustrations that millions of others are forced to endure. I'm concerned. You know, is it going to be the same situation this time as it, as it was last year? In January, Greg Geisler, a clinical professor of accounting with Indiana University, said yes. The IRS answered 11% of the phone calls they received last year. That's all, 89% went unanswered. It is a nightmare. It is worse than ever. But even more frustrating for taxpayers like Shana is the fact that there are private companies like NQ who promote they can get you to an IRS agent with up to 90% less hold time at a cost of hundreds of dollars. That's completely unfair for someone who who isn't in a situation financially to do that, that that again, we, we, you know, are penalized for that. Shana says she is still waiting on her $600 owed to her by the IRS from last year. Certainly want to address that because that's something that is just not uh, sustainable. It's not a sustainable system. Margie Worrell works with the United Way's Indy Free Tax Prep Program, which gives free tax preparation for people making $66,000 or less, including an online option. It's kind of a way of being able to get your questions answered without having to sit on that phone line. Worrell says people are working with an IRS certified volunteer, which means they understand the system in place. I'm kind of suggesting our program as a backdoor so that they don't have to um, be on the phone if they're trying to do their taxes themselves, it can be very complicated. As another way to skip the line without having to pay up. Just frustrated um, and, you know, it's stressful. It's stressful. Indiana Senator Todd Young sent this letter to the IRS questioning the practice and saying paying to receive preferential access to the IRS should not be permitted. He also calls on the IRS to dramatically improve the quality of service. I'm Jasmine Miner for WISH TV, WISHTV.com, and follow us on Facebook. Jasmine, thank you. Indiana Senator Todd Young has heard firsthand from Hoosiers frustrated with the IRS. He says his office has helped more than a thousand Hoosiers get help with their 2020 tax returns. And he also says his office still has more than 100 outstanding cases and the number is growing daily. One of these cases is over two years old and still waiting on a resolution from the IRS. Roughly half of our current cases involve original 2020 unprocessed tax returns. We're already in the midst of the 2021 tax filing season and the IRS has still not processed 2020 tax returns. My constituents are understandably quite frustrated. My staff are frustrated. I'm frustrated. Young says many people complain they wait months to a full year to get any indication that the IRS has received their return.